Beginning in 2006, a group of sickle cell disease advocates met with the aim of establishing a national body that will support, spread awareness, and care for those living with a sickle cell disease, or SCD. Soon, the Sickle Cell Foundation of Canada was established and registered, and the search for sickle cell families in need began. The issue became more popular, especially during the 2011 FCFC Revitalization Teleconference held in Toronto. Today, the individual sickle cell disease advocacy groups present in British Columbia, Nova Scotia, Ontario, Manitoba, and Quebec are all represented under a single umbrella, the Sickle Cell Disease Association of Canada. Before we learn more about this wonderful organization, what even is the sickle cell disease? Sickle cell disease, or sickle cell anemia, is a red blood cell disorder, mainly affecting people from Africa, the Mediterranean, Middle East, South America, and the Caribbean. It is caused by an abnormal form of hemoglobin, which is a substance that carries oxygen through our bloodstream. This illness causes the hemoglobin to form long rods in the red cell when it gives away oxygen, making it unable to work properly. They become stiff and block up the blood vessels in your body, causing pain and destroying quickly, leading to anemia. These rigid rods change the normal round red cell into a sickle shape, hence the name sickle cell. At the moment, there is no cure to this disease, and in 2013 alone, 3,500 Canadians were reported to have SCD. Between 2016 to 2017, that number rose to 5,000, which is a 70% increase within a span of just four years. According to the World Health Organization, sickle cell anemia affects nearly 100 million people globally, and it is the most common genetic disease in the world. Some people just have sickle cell traits, and although they will not get the full-blown disease at any time of their life, they might just pass it to their children if their spouse also has a trait. Did you know that SCD is more common in places where mosquitoes roam, and that those with SCD are protected against malaria? Hmm, interesting. That is why about 25% of Canadians that come from ethnic roots traditionally affected by malaria may carry the trait. So if you are within these ethnic backgrounds, check with your doctor and consider taking blood tests with your partner before planning to have children. Now, back to the Sickle Cell Disease Association of Canada. What is their mission and vision? Their mission and vision is to increase awareness of the sickle cell disease, enhance methods of identification, diagnosis, and treatment toward improving the quality of life of affected individuals and their families. They serve as an educational resource broker, promote newborn screening for SCD, and collaborate with other Canadian and international SCD groups. This organization impacts those with sickle cell and sickle cell traits, all as one big family. There are no paid staff, as this is a 100% volunteer-run organization. The volunteers educate people about sickle cell, help to spread awareness of SCD, and they network with others. This charity fundraises by educating about sickle cell at events, organizing a meet and greet at local hospitals, and by doing community service, marathons, and gaining support from other individuals. The money that they get from these fundraisers are used to provide treatment for these individuals, and a large sum is given to research-oriented bodies. This situation affects me also because of my mom. She only has a sickle cell trait, and yet she suffers from severe joint pains, and I've gone through surgery twice, and she finds it very difficult to live with this condition. I think that this charity is doing an amazing job by spreading the awareness of SCD, in the hope that one day they find a cure to this disease. But they need your help. Every dollar counts. Please help me raise $50,000 by June 19th of next year to honor Sickle Cell Awareness Day. For donations, click on the GoFundMe link inserted in the description below. For more information, visit www.sicklecelldisease.ca. Thank you for watching.